Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the DLC of Civ 6, and there's a big, 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 big problem with the DLC in Civ 6, and that is that it's cut content. It's cut, it's, you know, part of the game where it should have been, but it's not. Let me explain what I mean. So if you guys remember, or you've ever heard of Civilization 2, okay? I believe it was released in 1999, and in Gathering Storm, they were like, oh, you can melt the polar ice caps in this game. <clears throat> and I was like, oh, that's interesting. That was a thing in Civ 2, and you're acting like it's a new feature. Why? Oh, the river's gonna flood. If y'all remember Civilization 3, you could get diseases from working floodplains. You know? So already I'm worried that there's this kind of rehashing of content, and they added in a bunch of units. Now, these units I'm not mad at. The problem with them is, as they're adding units in, they're units that are already in other Civ games. Okay? Dig, for example, they added like. You have the knights, and you have the cavalry, okay? They added a corsair, and they added renaissance-era cavalry. Well, if you guys remember, there, there, there used to be just knights. Now those knights and corsairs. If you played Civilization II, you would know that there were knights and crusaders, and they have different stats. There was um, the ground units, okay? There was... Swordsmen, and there wasn't swordsmen. There was archers, legion, there's no ranged units, so there's archer, legion, fanatics. All three of those, because there's no ranged class, were melee class units that all were a little different. Okay, same thing with the siege engines they had. The siege engines had slightly different stats. You know, so what they're doing is they're like, oh, we have, you know, this gap between the medieval age and the modern age let's fill it in with this types of cavalry and melee units that th that variation already existed in the game it already ex it, it was already a thing and it's like no this isn't new stuff they added in the giant death robot that was in civ 5 they added a spec ops unit i if i'm not mistaken that was a unit in civilization 2 or 3 i don't remember but you know, it's kind of frustrating to me that a lot of this DLC, and let's not even get into the nations. Like, they're rehashing nations at this point. Where, like, all these nations, I would say half the DLC ones should have been in the game at launch. But they weren't. And it's stupid. Okay? It's so, so, so stupid. And so, you know, watching the evolution of this game, I said that one of the big things that made it, uh, I've said before that one of the big things that made it not a fun game was the AI and how dumbed down it is, right? It's a very simple, stupid AI. You know, it's it used to be stupid and complex, now it's simple and stupid. But the other thing that's happening is content's getting rehashed. All right, we, like, granted, Religion was a DLC for Civ V, but also wasn't for Civ 4, I believe, but now Civ 6 is not a DLC? Like, what's going on? Why, why, why is this happening? And the future era is great, except that it's the, I was so excited that there was going to be like, they're like future era tech and future civics, but the civics are cool. The future era tech is garbage. What? Congratulations. You can upgrade your giant death robots. Like, okay, that's basically all the tech does. It doesn't add anything to it. So, you know, I'm just, from watching this game, I'm frustrated that a lot of this content, the concepts are rehashed. I mean, world politics, I don't even remember if there was a game with world politics. I don't remember. So, that's new, but the AI would gain up on anyone that went to war anyways. They made it really, the world politics pretty cool, though. So... You know, I'm just, I'm kind of sad that, um, they didn't, they took the systems, 
and repackage them as DLC. I just think that it's stupid. You know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you been a longtime Civ player and noticed this? Because I have, and it makes me frustrated at the game. You know, a game where like it's like yeah, hundred, what is it, 120, 130 dollars, and I have Civilization VI with a finely normal amount of nations and features that were repackaged and thrown in that should have been in the game that were in previous games. Opposite of the casual gamer, I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I said in the thing.